All right, hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. Oh, and also, you know, Bahashim, meaning in the name. You know, and the Paleo Hebrew is the, the Holy Tongue. Which in the Hebrew is the Lashuan Kodash. And I just want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Now I pray this lesson is edifying unto you believers out there who are of, who are of the hopeful elect. No. Now this lesson I just want to go over what Captain Tazariak of the ISUPK has said. You no. Know, he has said that, you know, outside of the Most High, women are the strongest, which that is false. And I'm going to prove to you that it's false through the Holy Scriptures. Now, this is First Peter 3 and 7. Likewise, ye, well, matter of fact, let's just get First Peter 3 and 7 in the NLT. I'm going to be reading from the right side of the screen. So this is First Peter 3 and 7 in the same way. You husbands must give honor to your wives. Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. So basically just treat your wife, you know, treat your wife right, man. Don't treat your wife any type of way. You no, know, don't treat your treat your wife like shit. Basically, you know, basically that's what it just to say that, you know. I'm going to keep reading. She may be weaker than you are. So, boom, you no, know, that's a cut right there, you know, to what Captain Tazariak has said, you know, the woman is weaker than the man, you know, so therefore the woman, the man is the strongest, not the woman, you know, but keep reading, but she is your equal partner in the most High's gift of new life. Treat her as you should, so your prayers will not be hindered, you know. So the woman, just the whole point of that scripture was to prove that, you know, hey, it said it right here. The, you know, the woman or she may be weaker than you are. So the woman is weaker than the man. Simple. So look at all first Corinthians 11 and. Uh, let's do schlock here. Verse three. First Corinthians 11 and three. But I would have, you know. That the head of every man is a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai is the Most High God, is, is God, you know, the Most High. You know, and that's the divine order of things, man. That's how, that's the proper order, you know. Now, if the woman, now if the woman were the strongest, why didn't it say, you no, know, why didn't why isn't the divine order order like you no know, the, the most high God Yahweh, then Yahweh Shai, then the woman, then the man? Why wasn't it like that then? You no, know, why isn't the woman the head of the woman then? If the the you know the if the woman are the strongest, well, it's because that's not the case. That's false. It says here that the man that that the man it's like it. And that the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. So the man comes first, then the woman. You know? So the man is stronger than the woman, man. They're the leader of the woman. You know? They're above the woman. You know? So, hey, clear cut right there, you know? If the, if the woman was the strongest, they would have been the head of the man. Which, no, that's not the case. The head, the man is the head of the woman. You know, but you no, know, let me get the next scripture in Ecclesiastes. It's like, yeah, oh, that's Proverbs, Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. Let me get this in the NLT, Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. And a little background on this this is King Solomon speaking, you know. And he's kind of conducting this kind of social experiment 
you know, as you would call it today, you know, this kind of study, you know, that he was doing, you know, to find, you know, out of man and woman, which one would be, uh, you know, virtuous, you know. But I'm going to read Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. This is my conclusion, says the teacher. I discovered this after looking at the matter from every possible angle. Though I have searched repeatedly, I have found not I have not found what I was looking for. Only one out of a thousand men is virtuous, but not one woman. Now I wanted to get that word virtuous, the definition of that in the Google Google definition. So the word virtuous meaning having or showing high moral standards. And how do you show your high moral standards? By applying, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Salakia, of these scriptures, the Holy Bible, man. You know, applying it to your life. Oh, sh shoot. Hey, as you can see, you know, those three words, you know, right next to the word, you know, similar, it says, one of those words is righteous. Hey, hey, these wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is righteous, man. But... You know, I'm going to go back to the scripture. I just brought out the scripture to prove that, you know, that, you know, the woman is more wickeder, if that's even a word, you know, it's more wickeder than a man. You know, hey, as Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. You know, so the woman... He said, well, King Solomon said that, you know, out of at least out of a thousand men, one was virtuous. But out of you know, a thousand women, none were, you know, no, none were virtuous, man. So that proves that the women are more susceptible, if, if I'm saying that right, to sin. They're more susceptible to, you know, wickedness, man. You know, it's way easier. You know, it takes less strength. Look. <laughs> that's the that's the video. That's the topic of the video, you know. Captain Tazariak saying that these women are stronger, but that's not the case. Because to do wickedness, it's way more easier. It takes less strength to be wicked. You know? It takes more strength to be virtuous and righteous, especially in this wicked and perverse society, man. It takes more strength to be virtuous than to um be wicked, man. It's way it, it's, it's too easy, man, to be wicked in this society, man. Because this society is completely random on wickedness and perverseness, man. You know, but to do the will of the Heavenly Father and do what is right in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, to do right, man, it's, it's, it's hard, you know. It's hard because we're constantly fighting a battle, you know, be, uh, within ourselves, man. Be, I just did a video on that, you know. We're constantly fighting that battle. Between the flesh, you know, our wicked nature, and our uh, uh the spirit, you know, the sp our spiritual nature, man. You know, we're constantly fighting that battle to try and, you know, do right in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. And in order for you to fight a battle or to fight a war, you have to have strength within you, you know. And that's something that the women don't have. They don't have strength. Well, Why? Hey, the proof is right here. You know, King Solomon said that there's out of uh, a thousand women, not one. So that proves there that these women are more prone to and is prone to being wicked, man, than the men. You know? But I'm going to get a... Let's get in the matter of fact. Let's get that scripture I quoted. In Ecclesiastes 25 and 19. Ecclesiastes 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little... To the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So he's saying all the wickedness. He's saying that all the wickedness. That can be done. It is but little to the wickedness of a woman man. And that says a lot man. Just think about that. It, that says a lot. You know, ultimately saying that these women are wicked man. They're exceedingly wicked. <laughs> You know, and it's it's more easy. It's more easier and it takes less strength to be wicked, man. It takes less willpower, 
no less strength of the mind to be uh, wicked, man, than to be righteous. You know, to be righteous, it's just to be righteous and virtuous and you know, of a good moral standard, you know, following these laws, statutes, and commandments, it's more harder to do that, especially in this society, man. It's hard, you know. And and who who are the main one main ones doing that, man? You know the men, you know the prophets, man. You know we constantly fighting the battle between the flesh and the spirit, and it, that's why you have majority men in this truth, man. You know because the men have you no know, men are stronger than the women. The men have that strength to fight that battle, man. You know through the through the um, you know the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. No, but you no. Know, hopefully, I made my point clear. You know that's the end of the lesson. I hope I hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect. You no. Know, anyways, with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom, shalom.